difference between a 10 mile an hour accident and a 40 mile an hour accident is just a split second of awareness for the driver. And that's where lane light comes in and makes a big difference in alerting distracted drivers about crossing pedestrians and other hazards in the roadway. I looked at the data on, on distracted driving and this phenomenon called tunnel vision. And you miss the roadside devices a lot of times when you're thinking about something else, not necessarily on the phone, but just distracted. And, uh, and the data shows that for every little second or millisecond of reaction time, your speed that you're actually gonna be going when you get to that conflict point, if there's gonna be a conflict, is really dramatic, dramatically lower if you have a little extra warning um, at, at the outset. And so what ends up happening is you have an accident that's 10 miles an hour instead of 40 miles an hour. And that's a big deal for me, I have four kids. They do a lot of walking and catching the buses and all that kind of thing and, and, and perish the thought that there's an accident. But if, if there is one, we want it to be a low speed accident. And so, uh, you know, we're very thankful for the cars today and how well they're made, they can stop. But we want to get the awareness into the driver and into their hands. So we created a line of products that, that uh, just flashes when they're needed to give awareness and alert the, the drivers that there's, there's a crosswalk happening ahead or a wrong way warning situation ahead or a stoplight ahead. And so it's just encouraging me to think that every time I hear in the news about somebody not making it home, it's somebody's kid, it's somebody's wife, somebody's grandmother. And so even if we can just save one of those lives through the technology, not only that we have, but some of the technology that's going to be in this, in this conference today, uh, we certainly would encourage the cities and, and the end users to really take a good close look at it as a wise you know, long-term investment for the safety of their, their residents and, and their own kids. Yeah, so one of the reasons that we come to Vision Zero is, is uh, our desire for people to get home safe. And, and uh, that's, that's the sort of the base bottom line level of all the things we do in traffic, whether it's signals or crosswalk safety products or turn lane safety products or wrong way warning systems, all the kind of things that we focus on in our day to day endeavors to make the, the roads safer is to get people home safe. That's the bottom line. And so when it comes to lane light, what we try and do with our products is, is create uh, an awareness of the situation, whether it's a pedestrian or awareness of a wrong way, and just kind of break into that, that tunnel vision that you have when you're distracted. And the data will show you that um, when you're distracted, um, you miss most of what's in your environment. So if we can just get that last little bit of, of awareness into the driver's eyes, into their hands, into their minds, and onto their brake pedals, then we get slower cars, and we get, uh, even if there's even an accident, because we're not claiming we're gonna get no accidents, but we want no deaths. And so if there is an accident, you're on the brakes, the cars today, they're fantastic cars, they stop great. If we can create awareness to have cars slowing down, then when they get to that crosswalk, if there is an accident, everybody goes home safe. And you get to you know, hug your kids that night and give your wife a kiss goodnight. So that's kind of what motivates me. That was sort of the, the turning point for me that made, it, made this whole industry worthwhile for me to be getting up and, and promoting Vision Zero. And obviously we're doing it with our lane light products, but there's a lot of good products on the market that are making our roads safer today, more than ever before.